I, I know this is a brushstroke generalization, but when you look at the millennial generation, your generation, who do you, who, who, where's the vote? Kat. I don't I don't really support anybody right now, so I think that there's still room for me to be swayed. I don't even know any more than anyone in any other generation knows what to think about this election. It's mm -hmm. gone insane. People are fed up with the establishment. Hillary Clinton is doing terribly with millennials, myself included. I know who I hate the most, which is Hillary Clinton. <laughs> why? Wow. Why? 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 <laughs> no, because she represents everything about what millennials don't want right now. She's, you know, she's, you know, in the system. She doesn't play by the rules, and she, she, when she tries to talk to millennials, she's not actually reaching out to us. She's so obviously pandering, like tweet us your student loan debt feelings and emojis. It's like you don't even know what you're talking about, and I know that. So just be yourself. Yeah, well, that's, you know that's very uh, important sentiment because. People just want authenticity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why Trump is resonating. Mm -hmm. What about you? Well, Nikki? I have to agree with, with Kat on this one. I think that uh, the establishment, both the, the, the DNC and the RNC, are clinging to what they know. And as a result, they're pushing away independence, which are m the majority of millennials are now yeah. registered as independents. That's the future of our country. And to go back to Eric Trump's point, I actually think he's right on this. Every state has such complicated registration. They've got absentee ballots, early ballots. Sometimes they're the same thing. Sometimes they're different. Uh, they, they, you know, in, in New York, we have closed primaries, very closed primaries, and yeah. you have to register with a party in October, but your absentee yeah. ballot was due yesterday. It's so confusing. But if your dad is running, you Google it. <laughs> well, you make <laughs> sure to make time to Google it. Yeah, right. I mean, he has assistance for that. <laughs> yeah. but, but to go back to your point about Hillary, she's running against the 90s, and the 90s era policies, her husband's policies, ironically, are what put the, most millennials where we are today, struggling with student loan debt, the fact that the cost of living is so high. Hi, uh, you know the list goes. Uh, criminal justice There's reform, a mass incarceration. Wow. Mass incarceration, exactly. <laughs> right. Wow. Okay. So yeah. you're, you blame you blame Bill Clinton. Oh. Absolutely. And a, and a little Republican. Yeah. Christy, what do you think? <laughs> I'm, I'm not up to be swayed at all. The only swaying is going to be who I think should be vice president, maybe. But I am fully for Donald Trump. You are. I have loved him since he announced that he was going to run. Everything he says, I mean, his focus on bringing back jobs, I think that's really what we need. I can imagine anyone to help our economy more than him. He's been so successful. I like that he's tough. I don't think he's going to take anyone's nonsense. He's going to go in and just turn things up and do what's best. Well, does it bother you, his stance on immigration, on the border calls, on the, you know, let's, let's wait and ban Muslims until we figure this out, is no, his quote. No, it doesn't bother me at all. I think we need someone who's going to look out for what's best for us. Our safety mm -hmm. is of the utmost importance. And if we can't properly vet people, I think that's what we need. We need to say, okay, wait, let's maybe not let everyone rush in. Let's, let's see if we can find a way to get them in where we know they're not going to be you know, destroying. Do you others. feel the same as Kat uh, as for when it comes to the other side, Hillary Clinton? Absolutely. I don't you think do. millennials wow. like her. I think that no one trusts her. She's a liar. And there are a few people that actually, it worries me, some millennials that I've spoken to are, oh, I don't really need to trust the president. That's yeah. horrible. How wow. can you not trust your president? Well, no. you know, I want to bring, this brings me to Bernie Sanders because Hillary Clinton is leading in the latest Quinnipiac poll in, in, right now, but Bernie Sanders says he's not worrying about it. He's eyeing the general election. Listen to this. I want to get your reaction. In general election poll matchups, we are beating Trump by 20 points. With a larger margin than Secretary Clinton, and we will win a major victory here in New York next Tuesday. There you go. He says he can beat Trump and that he has the millennial vote. What is your take on the support that Bernie Sanders has had from your generation? Well, I'm a Bernie Sanders supporter. You are. Uh, I am. And, 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 you know, he wooed me really not that long ago, it was January, when I realized that Hillary Clinton had blocked out all of the other Democratic candidates from entering the race in August by getting half of the superdelegates. And so when I looked at the future of the party and I saw over 80% of those under 45 of the Democratic Party and the progressive side moving with Bernie Sanders, I said, this is the future. I got to I, I gotta listen, listen a little bit more. And sure enough, he has a very detailed plan. Do, do his socialist policies <laughs> concern you? I mean... At some point, do you have an aspiration to be in the highest earning tax bracket? Sure. And are you 
ready to pay 92% of that earnings in tax. Well, it's, that's not entirely true. I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to reconfigure the economy so that it's, the burden is not on the backs of the, of the middle class. The burden is not on the backs of the secretaries and the working class. It's, you know, that the wealthiest 1%, that corporations pay their taxes. So they should pay 92% is what you're saying. Well, they, they should they, pay they a should. fair share in taxes. I plan on being fair, very rich and I don't want to have to pay 92%. But that's not our economy. I mean, to <laughs> trickle down economics mm -hmm. didn't work. We've seen that after the last 30 years. And even Morning Joe, they said that on your competing show, you know, Joe Scarborough said trickle down economics doesn't work anymore. And so Republicans are coming out and saying we've got to change the system. What we need to do is motivate people again. And I think Bernie Sanders kind of does the opposite of that. He encourages people to slack off because don't worry, we're going to take care of you. The government will take care of you. It's, it's, not, your, it's not your fault. Free everything. Yeah. That's not yeah. true at all. What you do is encourage people. Go Look. work. Get the American dream back where it used to be, where you can work, you can achieve anything, and make something of yourself. Yeah, I so like what like he's yeah. She's planning on being very rich. I want to be. I plan. I'm not. I don't want to be. I plan to be very, very rich. Exactly. And you got so plans plan. in place for that. Yes, and I you're do. not about to give a majority. Of I'm, it to I'm definitely not. And I get Bernie Sanders is a likable dude. You know, I think I'd have fun going out to brunch with him. That'd be fun. If I went out with Hillary, I'd be like, I need to bring a food tester because I don't trust this lady. Oh my lady. God. So I get why people would support him over her, but I don't know how. You can be a motivated person and a Bernie Sanders supporter at the same time. So do, you, do you believe no. that college is going to be free? I, I think that there's a system in place where if, if he's worked better with Republicans than any other Democrat, so I think there's a possibility you can you can negotiate in getting college as cheap as possible, but you don't negotiate from the middle like Hillary Clinton. She's basically saying, well, everything's okay. If you're hurting, if you feel like uh, this economy is not working, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll try incrementalism. That's never worked ever. Mm. So Bernie Sanders is just trying to negotiate from the best place possible. Yeah. Hopefully. All right. Final word here. What is it going to take to make a choice? These two got, uh, ladies have I don't a choice. Know. What is it going to take to make, to, to crystallize it I don't know. I'm going to meditate on it, I guess. I don't know what to breathe, do. Breathe. I don't know. I'll look ladies. at third party options. I'll persuade her a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Great to see you all. Christy Kunzig, Catherine Timp, Nomiki Constable.